stay tuned for the final video of our build of the Peterbilt 352 pacemaker from AMT. That will be the next video will be our final video when we will have this completely put together and all the decals on it and it will be finished and put this back on here. Where does these go? This goes like that. Oh nope, there's one. There's two. Okay. So that is the there you go. So this will be finished in our final video. I appreciate you watching and uh we'll see you soon. And real easy, you just put a glue. I'm using the Mod Podge from behind and just putting these in here and they just sit in here real easy um so we're doing that right now so here's the headlights that are done see how the lens is cleared up from the mod podge so now we're just going to put these and you just lay them right in here here you go i don't know if you remember there's the drive shaft we haven't put in yet because i thought I thought it was too short. Now we're almost at the end of build and I noticed there's a drive shaft on the chrome piece, which is longer than that one, which is the correct drive shaft. So um, going through the model, one of the things you gotta remember is we gotta look for the right pieces and part numbers and I didn't do that. I just assumed that the longer drive shaft that's there was the one that went over. It's not, it's right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint that one black and cut that out because there are some pieces in this kit they don't use and that right there drive shaft is one I guess that's for a different model but uh, there's our drive shaft so I'm gonna go ahead and paint that black and uh, that's the one that fits so there we go I was actually looking for the license plate right here and saw that so that's a cool thing this guys so there is I didn't know which lights to use because it doesn't really tell you so I used the ones I liked, which were the bigger lights um, around the uh, license plate. So that's ready to go on. I made a license plate bracket from a spare piece that I had because I kind of like the license plate bracket that I make. It's going to be a lot steadier than just kind of gluing this on. And a lot of trucks, the you know license plate holders and brackets are all different. So we've got the back on now. This is not the finished product yet. We did put on the step that's still drying right there, the red step, you can see it. And then um, we put inside of the, the foot step right there, there's the chrome piece that um, is inside the step. And then here's the front. We got the lights in right now. Everything's drying again. There's a lot of put stuff in, let it dry. Put stuff in, let it dry. And that's where we're at right now is the let it dry. And like I said we painted the other drive shaft. That's the old drive shaft. The other one's outside drying. And then we'll put that in. So, and kind of happy. I mean, they don't match up 100, 100%. 100% but they do land on the bases of the exhaust pipes. Um, I don't have the uh, hinges put in. I'm not putting hinges on this. I don't put hinges on uh, sometimes a lot of things. I don't use them for hoods. I'm not gonna use it for this because I will never have it displayed opened up. If I wanna show somebody, I can just lift it straight up. And uh, if I lift up the, the top, it'll come right up. I can show everybody the underneath, but I'm never gonna have it in a diorama or something where it's tilted forward. Cause if I remember right, every time I used to do that, they would break. So, but it's getting close guys. We maybe another hour and then we can put decals. And uh, we still have to do mirrors, handrails and stuff, but we're getting super close. I'm not weathering this at all. However, um, the fifth wheel I did sand. So if you want to call it weathering, weathering, I just like showing the details, which 
when this is gloss black, you really don't get to see the, the, the details of the fifth wheel. So by just sanding it, lightly sanding it with a uh, 600 grit, I brought out the details. So I kind of like that. There is going to be the back lights that I like. And um, we're just getting to the point where we're going to be finishing this up. So um, I'm glad you guys have stayed with us. I know there was many parts, but honestly, we are on day six of building this. And it would have been impossible to do it all in one video. All right, guys. So we are coming towards the end. Um, one of the things that I have a hard problem with and uh, has always been a problem for me is putting these mirrors on. So basically that's one of the reasons I also didn't put um, the hinges on because I could just lay this down, put the mirrors on, put those turn signal lights on, put the handlebar on this side. We painted the uh, two marker lights there and uh, we did some inside so the last thing we have are to put the rails and mirrors on the driver's side and then do oops sorry like that and then put the decals on so that's really all we have left so we're going to go ahead, finish that, wipers go on, windshield wipers, all the other pieces, the little trim, door handles. We're going to do all that, and then we will be back. Um, actually, we'll do all that, and we're going to put the decals on it today, and then we'll be back with the final product. When I'm working on these, because if you, you can't lay it sideways to glue, so I put... You can see how these things here, the rail and the mirrors, if you lay them in there, then you can put the rails and the mirrors up here first, and then I'll glue the mirror in that rail once it dries in a little while. All right, everybody, so this is the Peterbilt 352 Pacemaker Cab Over AMT model, and um as you can see it looks a little different it's a white and, and red truck just like there i painted this we've watched it it took seven days now it's not seven full days eight hours a day but uh seven days of building and letting it dry and building and letting it dry and this is the end so i think it came out really well uh, I could have painted it with just the white on the front, or you paint it, you know, it's your model. You paint it however you want it. I wanted one of these old Kenworths, or uh, Peterbilt's, painted this way, rather, because of a show called BJ and the Bear that was about truck driver and his monkey, if you're too young to know that, back in the 70s. But anyway, I think the truck came out really well. Um, is it perfect? Not even close. Is it a show truck? Probably not. Um, but, you know... It's, I'm happy with it. It's going to look great on the shelf. It's the first tractor trailer uh, or tractor model I've built in almost 30 years. So we can, you know, see everything kind of lines up the way it's supposed to and everything. And then if I take the cab off, because like I said I don't tilt, we can look at the engine. Um,. And we can see how everything fit together. If I lift it up underneath, you could see we put that drive shaft in because I had the wrong drive shaft, but it's all together. It looks like it's supposed to. Um, and it provided me, because right now I'm kind of laid up a little bit because of my knee, because of a accident. Uh, and it gives me something to do and it gave me seven days of a lot of fun and three days of a lot of, uh, a lot of frustration, but this is definitely for a build 
model builder who you've you better have built a bunch of models before doing this i would say this isn't your first this isn't your second model uh amt kits these are your like 30th model or you've been building models for a year or two and you understand how to put everything together and that stuff's going to fail sometimes and stuff's going to break sometimes and you're not going to be perfect so and even if we look inside i got the light there you can see the inside of the glass and you can see how everything looks in there Um, anyway, uh, I like the Coca-Cola. The, the Coca-Cola um, decal sheet is huge. So uh, you can pick however you want. We've got our three license plates on the front. We've got the license plate on the back. We've got uh, stickers from all the different states, inspection stickers that are needed for interstate commerce. Um, it did come with the Peterbilt uh, stickers there. And then, of course, we put the Coca-Cola on with their address, which they have on their trucks, and then the standard truck information. Nothing special on the stickers, uh, on the decals. We kind of just made this as if it was a second-hand truck that uh, Coke distributorship bought. And they didn't really repaint it. They just kind of made it their own. So, uh, put some uh, Coca-Cola stickers on the back. The real thing I'd like to buy the world of coke and there's your uh, back bumper with uh, tail lights and such hanging down because they just did it that way a lot of trucks you'll see all kinds of stuff where tail lights are on these tractor trailers Peterbilt mud flaps so the battery box right there it does come off but I'm just a happy camper with it I hope you enjoyed it I hope if you've never built one of these and you want to go back and look, I literally did not do this as a one hour build. I did this as a seven day build. So if you, you can build this kit or similar kits, similar in that length of style, if you have somewhere that could just sit there for about five to seven days, take your time with these things. Um, take your time, make sure stuff is dry. And those magic fingers, that I showed you you should get you should have those you need an exacto knife you need let's see uh, something to cut the pieces off of the uh, plastic so I use tube glue for this whole thing so tube glue and my white glue my uh, Mod Podge which I use for the glass and for some of the chrome pieces but I'm happy with it I hope you enjoyed following and we'll make another model on next model Monday so stay tuned thank you guys please subscribe check out all our uh content we've got race cars nascars car uh, uh car sorry about that we got race cars nascar we have car auctions car swap meets junkyards walks car show walks uh barn finds you name it we're building a truck we're building a ford f-150 and obs 1995 so uh stick with us and thank you all for watching have a great day bye bye